Some of the nation's greatest leaders, both past and present, were among the hundreds to gather for former Premier John Bannon's state funeral today. Mourners hearing of a man dedicated to the state he adored and devoted to the family he loved. A gathering of the state and nation's political elite to farewell South Australia's longest serving Labor Premier. Great respect and deep affection for John Bannon. He was a man of total decency, enormous capacity and uh, very self-effacing. Hundreds filling St Peter's Cathedral to honour John Bannon, a man not only dedicated to serving our state, but dedicated to his family. Dad would always make time to be with his family. On weekends between functions, he would somehow manage to slot in bike rides, footy matches, picnics and visits to the zoo or Magic Mountain. Eight days ago, John Bannon succumbed to cancer after a stoic battle. Daughter Victoria revealing the lighter side of a man who led SA for almost a decade. At home, he could be something more akin to the class clown. He taught us kids how to speak entire sentences while belching. A skill we proudly practice to this day. As Premier, he is credited with delivering major successes to South Australia, such as the Formula One Grand Prix and Collins Class submarine contract. But his legacy was tarnished by the state bank collapse, which cost taxpayers $3 billion. Even then, he remained dignified. Bannon took a disproportionate amount of blame for its collapse, while others ran for cover. His integrity and sense of duty stood out during this time. The man who replaced him as Premier, now Reverend Lynn Arnold, leading prayers. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Before Mike Ram, Mr Bannon's former Cabinet Minister, then Premier himself, helped his friend on his final journey. <laughs> 72 bells ringing out over North Adelaide, acknowledging each year of John Bannon's life. It's at Christmas that we will miss him most. Cricket played a significant part in Mr Bannon's life. Fittingly, for such a lover of the game, his wake was held across the road from St Peter's at Adelaide Oval. Rory McLaren, Nine News.